Welcome to the show, where it's our vision to embed a passion for lifelong learning through nurturing aspirations in an engaging way that inspires learners to become self-confident, open-minded, creative thinkers who make a really positive impact in the world they live. Today I want to talk to you about differentiation and share some simple ideas about how you can leverage differentiation to make sure it becomes an effective teaching tool within your teaching repertoire that enables you to stretch pupils at all levels. One of the ways to consider differentiation is to think about the step principle, which is space, task, equipment and people. By changing those four things, you can easily and simply differentiate tasks and outcomes in order to ensure the desired effect and ensure that no children get bored, but all the children are stretched, challenged appropriately because no child thinks that the task is too easy or too hard. When you're thinking about space, think about the space that children have to perform in and usually if they're performing in a tight space, to whereas if they're performing in a large base, you're gonna produce an easier or more difficult outcome. So think about that and how you can leverage the amount of space that they have in order to make the task more easy or more difficult. PE is a really easy way to explain that because if you're, for example, passing the ball to a partner, it might be easier to pass it over a short distance than it is over a long distance, depending on the learning outcomes that it is that you're trying to achieve. When you're considering tasks, think about the tasks that you're getting the children to do. Are they ordering a four course meal with all the extras and having a full on communication with the waiter or waitress? Or are they ordering one thing off the menu? One of those is gonna be simple and one of those is gonna be hard. It's about identifying the key learners within your classroom and making sure that they have the task which is appropriate for them. When you think about equipment, think about the equipment that the children are using. So if you're a music teacher, for example, you may have loads of children playing on simple instruments like the triangle to perform a certain rhythm, whilst you might have more advanced children performing on pianos or guitars or things like that, just because they've got that external outside experience perhaps. P is for people, and you've really got to think about, take time to consider whether you want stretch partners or collaborative partners. And what I mean by that, stretch partners are going to be able to, going to have more advanced performers teaching it to somebody who's not quite there yet. Jim Quick has a great example of this, a great quote where he says, to teach it is to learn it twice. So you might want to have reinforcement or stretch partners so that the person that is at the top or the person that knows most about the subject is relearning and reteaching themselves whilst also encouraging and teaching a peer classmate. Collaborative partners might be two people on relatively the same level who can use each other's ideas and learn from each other to stretch and encourage and evaluate both of their ideas so that both of them improve together. Both are worthwhile to think about, but it must be worth considering which that you're using and position your classroom, position your pupils in a way that allows you to think about that and take that concept into consideration. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And if you know somebody that might benefit from watching it, please be sure to share this video with a friend. If there's something that you would like us to cover in our show, please drop a comment in the comments box below. We'd love to hear from you. Have a fantastic week.